Hello! Welcome to my Let's Play for Starbase! I got in! I'm in the closed alpha for Starbase. Uh, I actually started recording from the main menu and did an introduction, but silly me, I did not have my, uh, my microphone fully configured and I wasn't recording my voice. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but in the end it was probably okay because there wasn't anything too interesting. Uh, the first job, the demolition job, was actually very uh, <laughs> tedious. It just basically took some um, lasers and stuff and cut stuff apart and uh, buzzsaw. Um, interesting, but uh, it took a long time, almost like 30 minutes, so it probably wasn't worth the footage time. We just did the mining job, which is pretty cool. We'll probably be going back to do that uh, in a little bit here to earn money. Um, for now, the tutorial is having us go to the repair job, though, so we're going to go check that out. I think we're going to be bolting some things together. I've been pretty excited about this game for some time, so I'm quite ecstatic that I got into the alpha. What do we got here? A resource bridge. Building materials are stored in storage crates. Building tool needs to be connected to the crates with the resource bridge. Connect mining backpack to the resource bridge. Okay. Or enough. So we got a tether. Bring up the universal tool by using U. Okay. Blueprint show details about the shipwreck. Broken parts can be seen highlighted in the shipwreck. Um, material requirements and availability are viewed in the materials tab. Alright, so this thing is highlighted. Use the building to the repealed broken parts. Okay, so we're basically painting the boxes back on the repair. for like highlighting stuff this stuff was then if we what button was it you yeah we can see it's all beat up G is to undo your magnetic boots and G is to reattach them Eight plates left to repair. Three left. One left. No, oh, seriously, where are you? See anything? Generic. Run around here. Hmm. There it is. So couldn't see it from the ground. You've been awarded with labor. Labor ship has been added to your station inventory. You may access the ship at any station platform terminal. I guess that's what it wants us to do now. Great. I guess that's the end of the tutorial. Yeah, because I didn't see that before, that UI in the bottom right. Oh jeez, I think I'm free.
you run. There we go. It's like double shift. So I'll show you mining here again. Make some more money. That's the wrong one. So, whoop. Acquire pickaxe. Click start a new asteroid. Press the start button to activate this. An asteroid will be spawned there and you can start working. You can track your progress to the terminal. New asteroid. The total credits value is 706. Grit. That's worth a decent amount of ore. Worth a decent amount of credits, I should say. So what we're doing is we're breaking apart the outer shell. We're collecting the inner material that we want to collect. Just got 3,000 some credits in New Grit. Left click breaks the outer layer, and then the, the collection layer automatically collects the broken uh, asteroid bits, leaving us the sweet, sweet center to use our right click to turn it into nuggets. See, our credit is increasing as we collect these nuggets. Well, that was uh, the Valkyrite or Kernite? night something like that so that outer shell is called valkite and then this inner shell is Exorium, right? Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. There we go. First bits of money here by doing a mining job. Not terribly interesting, but it is a way to make money. Then eventually we'll be able to get ourselves a ship. 
and take that into the asteroid and then mine stuff there, which I think mining it there and bringing it back uh, earns you more money than doing this job. I don't think they pay you as well for the material when you do it here. At least that's what I the way I would imagine it works as to why it would be better to go off and mine rather than to uh, just do it here. I think the other thing is you want to collect the materials for building things versus this just gets you credits. It doesn't get you the actual material. So might as well get up to a hundred thousand. Then we'll go we'll do some more exploring. All sorts of different types of ore, isn't there? I like that. There's anything worth buying at a hundred thousand, but I think it's a good start. Nice round number to get to. No more. Leave it at that. So let's go and check out where we're going. I presume there's no sort of like map or anything. So where the heck do we go? So design your own ship. Buy a spaceship. Oops. <laughs> it fell into the void. Uh, that looks like it could be a spaceport or something over there. What's uh, what's the rando? So cool! And now players can build their own uh, space stations as well. 
So there's all sorts of stuff to do, work towards. My understanding is eventually there's going to be some sort of manufacturing process for uh, manufacturing new materials, uh, new new parts for your ships. Um, there's some sort of like ship designer that I understand is for like uh, designing your ship, but that comes with some downsides like uh, it costs credits to use that versus if you're to build. Oh, I want to orientate myself. How do I do that? Q. There we go. What's a rando? Air showroom one. So these are ships. Looks like they haven't a, they're loading in yet. Oh, huh, interesting. Interesting design. Well, let me see. Very plain box ship. What's this called? Barracuda. Barracuda by Perry is a small miner. Starter miner and scout ship with long uh, flight range capabilities is equipped with the YS Post navigation system, previously known as the ENAV 1.0. So I think the players created some sort of navigation system based off of the origin station. I forget how exactly it works. Oh wow, seven million. Okay, pricey. Vessel. Step. Lunar, made by Lunar, is a long range military ship equipped with two laser cannons and useful ISAN model 1.1 navigation system. 7 million. Have any extra small ships? Oh, that thing's pretty cool. Nice and big. Okay, so this is what I've heard about that can get really kind of laggy is you're having to download all these ships as you get closer to them. Hopefully they'll be able to optimize that. Corsair. 12 million. <laughs> of course. So we would make a biplane and a spaceship, a space game. Six million. What this little scooter here? Eight hundred nineteen thousand. Pricey. One generator rod lasts on average of eighty hours, and full propellant tanks last twelve hours on average when flying straight at maximum speed. This guy wouldn't be too hard to get a hold of, but I don't know how effective it would be. It's pretty bare bones. But I think these are just to look at. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna exit this showroom here. Oh, not wait. Um, and then I'm gonna take a quick break. Can we just fly out of here? I'm trying to figure out where the, that looks like a landing pad over there, maybe. Got. I think that's where we started. This looks like it could be a landing pad. Purchase.
What's this? Looks like there's some control pads here. Welcome to Work Hub. Yes, so this is how we get it. All right, so we're going to take a quick break, uh, and then when we get back, we will fly around. See you then. All right, we're back. So we got our ship here, and I think we're going to try spawning it in and giving it a go. Hit spawn. Oh, there it is. The laborer. Let's check it out. Looks like one of the ships we broke down. It is. So these are the ore crates. Right? If we go U. Uh, how does this work? This thing's a little blurry. Way to highlight what you're pointing at. What are these gauges here? Okay, so we're full on fuel. Press despawn to despawn your ship. Your ship will automatically despawn unless you leave the area. Propellant generator unit rate, fuel chamber unit rate. Generator. Off, on, okay. Oh, shoot. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so that key handles pitch. This handles. Might need a Joy-Con or something. Trafing. Shift is propel. Okay, so how do I... How do I get off? There we go. Look at the chair and then press F. Got it. Okay, should go on a little scouting trip. I get my cat out of the way. Ugh. Go for a little fly, just to see what's going on. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna take some getting used to. Flipping around. A little sensitive. There's all sorts of different lots and stuff. That station looks even bigger than this one. The only real problem I have is this ship, I don't think, comes with a navigation system. There's no real way to tell where you're going. towers or something. Is 
So when you're close to the ship, it'll automatically despawn in about 10 minutes. Oh, I think these are for selling ore. Oof. Ugh. It takes some getting used to. Okay, so you can purchase propellant and possibly power. Is that what that is? And you can sell equipment, ship, and... Okay. So then, propellant is 7.26 units. Credits per kilo unit. Power, same. And purchase power and propellant. Okay. It's fairly straightforward. So these must be battery units or something? Is there a place I could learn more about all the different ship parts? So it looks like I'll have to do some offline research to learn about all the parts goes into making a ship. And then maybe we'll make a video and share that with others. Well, this has been a pretty uh, interesting first episode. I know you guys missed out on a good 30 minutes of it. Oh, jeez. So hard to get used to. That's a cool looking uh, design there. So we'll have to do some research on how to set up uh, uh, Um, yeah, so we'll just do some research, maybe look up how to add parts to this thing to get that navigation system I've heard about. So that if we do go exploring in the asteroid field, we actually know how to get, well, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be that hard. We just have to look for the big old gate and the spaceship. Okay, so there's a video we can watch on how to upgrade the starter ship. Alright, so I guess to, we'll just land over here by where we were. And we'll maybe log off for now, and I'll maybe go do a little bit of grinding and research, and then when we get back, hopefully we'll do something more fun, like upgrade our starter ship here, and uh, go check out the asteroid belt. As we just heard from our friends here, it looks like it is the better way to make money. So let me just despawn our ship. I think we hit tab and hit spawn. There it goes.
all right so i think we'll just end it there so thanks for joining me guys this little sneak peek into what i'll be doing next uh, i'm gonna try and continue my uh long war rebalance campaign but it might take a little bit of a break for a day or two while i play this uh and yeah i hope we can have fun doing both i'll see you guys next time Bye bye